You're watching News 54. We have more than 1.7 million followers globally, which means that we have more followers than the State House, more followers than K24, more followers than the People Daily, more followers than the Star newspaper. We are soon going to have 5 million followers in the next six months. In other words, we don't need the mediocre Githeri media outlets to be able to um, disseminate our information, our messages, our revolutionary deconstructions of the despots. I urge all our supporters and members to use our channels and to ignore the propaganda and the retrogressive agenda of the mainstream Gideri media that is propping up and perpetuating the culture of impunity. Uru Kenyatta has now declared war on all progressives, is declared war on all patriots, is declared war on the constitution of Kenya 2010, is declared war on democracy. Uhuru J. Metameta Wanjohi has declared war on good governance and the rule of law. He has already trashed the basic human rights contained in the Bill of Rights. He's trashed the judiciary and wants to capture it the same way he's captured parliament. Uhuru Kenyatta does not want to leave power. He wants to hang on to his illegitimate power the same way his father did in 1964 when he forced Kadu to merge with Kanu thus paving way for him to become an imperial autocrat, an imperial president. Uru Kenyatta is using Raila Odinga the same way his father used Jaramogi, the, uh, the father of, uh, of, of Raila and Tom Boyer to make Kenya into a one-man militarized dictatorship. That is why he imposed Kariuki Kabochi to be the head of the military. We are going to ignore him because the military is not controlled by the top brass. The military is controlled by the rank and file, predominantly below the brigadier, all the way to the privates. Rawlings, Jerry Rawlings, was just a lieutenant flight uh, pilot. Uh, the great revolutionary Thomas Sankara was just a captain. He was not even a major. Revolutionaries are not brought by the top brass. Revolutionaries in the military often support students, progressive revolutionary students, progressive radical intellectuals, and progressive workers, teachers, and peasants. Uhuru Kenyatta has decided that he's going to use Raila Odinga, the conman, the Kotu urinator, Francis Atwoli, and other crooks to try to cling to power up to the time that he dies. Obviously, the drunkard does not want to go home. The drunkard wants to change the constitution so that he can stay on. That is why the drunkard has stolen 40 billion Kenya shillings, public money, in the last one month. As the people in Nyando and thousands of people in Pokot die in floods and landslides, Uru Kenyatta is entertaining his crooks in State House. The social distancing that he announced for the rest, the ordinary citizens, is not exercising. He said that it is criminal for more than four people or more to meet in one place. Well, yesterday, he just had a party with his minority uh, wing of the Jubilee Party. He invited 58 members of his Jubilee Parliament and nominated members of Parliament. Uhuru Kenyatta is not focused on COVID-19. COVID-19 is simply a cover, a decoy, a red herring, an excuse, a justification for locking up Kenya as he continues to try to strangulate the people with his filth.
So today, comrades, patriots, we are declaring war on Uru Kenyatta and we have to use all means necessary, particularly the social media and WhatsApp and uh, Telegraph and all modern means of communication. Let me assure you that in the 19th century, revolutionaries used the pamphlets and the radio, shortwave radio. In the 20th revolutionary, Thomas Sankara was just a captain. He was not even a major. Revolutionaries are not brought by the top brass. Revolutionaries in the military often support students, progressive revolutionary students, progressive radical intellectuals, and progressive workers, teachers, and peasants. Uhuru Kenyatta has decided that he's going to use Raila Odinga, the conman, the Kotu urinator, Francis Atwoli, and other crooks to try to cling to power up to the time that he dies. Obviously, the drunkard does not want to go home. The drunkard wants to change the constitution so that he can stay on. That is why the drunkard has stolen 40 billion Kenya shillings, public money, in the last one month. As the people in Nyando and thousands of people in Pokot die in floods and landslides, Uru Kenyatta is entertaining his crooks in State House. The social distancing that he announced for the rest, the ordinary citizens, is not exercising. He said that it is criminal for more than four people or more to meet in one place. Well, yesterday, he just had a party with his minority wing of the Jubilee Party. He invited 58 members of his Jubilee Parliament and nominated members of Parliament. Uhuru Kenyatta is not focused on COVID-19. COVID-19 is simply a cover, a decoy, a red herring, an excuse, a justification for locking up Kenya as he continues to try to strangulate the people with his filth. So today, comrades, patriots, we are declaring war on Uru Kenyatta and we have to use all means necessary, particularly the social media and WhatsApp and uh, Telegraph and all modern means of communication. Let me assure you that in the 19th century, revolutionaries used the pamphlets and the radio, shortwave radio. In the 20th